Hey, how you doing? This is Trainer David. What I want to cover is another important factor, which is stretching, okay? Pre and post workout. What you want to do before you begin your workout is what we call myofascial release stretching, or getting the knot out of the muscle. First thing we're going to do, we're going to come down, and we're going to begin at the bottom of our kinetic chain, which is our ankle, okay? We're going to go ankle, knee, to hip, to shoulder. The best way to remember how to begin this, all right? so. If you have any wrist issues before you begin this, make sure that you can either bulge your fist or get you some hexagon shaped weights so you can prop yourself up and you can navigate yourself up and down the foam roller. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start here working the calves. All right, now you can rotate the legs in or you can rotate the legs out. You wanna do both so you can cover both areas of the calf muscle, all right? Now, if you begin to feel a sharp pain in one of those areas, you hold that area for the minimum of 20 seconds. And what happens is the muscle begins to release in that area. So now you just navigate again, up and down the foam roller and roll, and roll that uh, knot on out. And you wanna spend at least five to 10 minutes doing this before you work out. It's the most important part of the workout, all right? So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring it up to the IT band. The IT band stabilizes the knee and the hip. So we're here, boom, you wanna rotate, in, all right, gets up to the inside of the thighs and out. Same thing, you feel that pain, hold it for 20 seconds, not release, you're good, all right? So now, what we're gonna take it to, we're gonna take it to the back. Start at the lumbar, the lower back, bring up the hip, keep the chest up. Now, rolling up and navigating up the whole back, all right? Again, you wanna do this five to 10 minutes before the workout, very important. Now we're gonna cover the lats. Some people have issues Raising the hands, all right? And that causes troubles in the shoulder complex. So what we're gonna do, turn here to the side, and now we have our lats, okay? Rolling out our lats. Make sure you do it to both sides. Focus on both sides, very important, okay? So again, add this to your workout before you begin your workout. And it'll make your workout a lot easier, you'll move a lot more efficiently, and you'll have a lot less trouble, and you'll be safe. Now you've done your workout, all right? You're all hot, you're all sweaty, okay? You got your heart, your heart rate racing. So what we wanna do is we wanna calm that down, okay? And we're gonna do that by static stretching. With the static stretching, the whole purpose of that is to make sure that your guys is not as sore as you could be the next morning if you just not stretch after your workout. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna bring both feet together, take a it's a nice deep breath, inhale, exhale, come down, come to your level. If you can't, the purpose of this is to get you to the ground, but if you can't, come to your level, stretch it, hold it for a minimum of 10 to 15 seconds, and come up nice and slow. You don't wanna jerk throughout the workout. You don't wanna jerk in any type of workout. Again, you wanna focus and make sure the legs are nice and straight, all right? If you can, try to keep the chest out and so you can keep the lower back straight as well so you don't round your back, all right? Because we're trying to get nice deep stretch in our hamstrings at the same time. So now, what we want to do is we want to focus on bringing the right leg across the left leg. Now we're isolating the left hamstring, all right? Taking it, inhale, exhale, and relax. Coming up nice and slow, all right? You don't want to jerk throughout the movement. You want to take everything nice and slow. Now you're going to switch it over to the other side. You're going to hold it, all right? And again, we're isolating one hamstring at a time now, all right? So after we're done there, we're going to take it. We're going to spread it out. Both feet pointing straight ahead, hands up, turning completely to the right. Inhale, exhale down, coming out. Make sure you get both hands outside the foot and keep the both feet pointing forward because you're trying to stretch the outside of the calves, all right? Again, inhale up, nice and slow. Inhale, exhale, reaching through the middle. Reach through the middle, try to reach back and grab as far back as possible, all right? We're opening up both hamstrings there. Inhaling up, inhale, exhale, going down to the other side. Same thing, beautiful. Again, repeat this twice, all right? So now we're coming down to the ground. On our backs, bringing our knees to our chest. We wanna hold this for 15 to 20 seconds. So now we got one leg, psoas muscle, which is our deep hip flexors. All right, now we're gonna take it across. And when we take it across, keep the head facing in the opposite direction in which the leg is going, and we're stretching the lower back now. Beautiful, good job. Now, you're gonna repeat this 
to the same side, and then you're good. And now we're gonna take it to the calves. Come on the ball of the feet, press down with the opposite foot on the heel of the foot that is down, all right? And get a nice, good stretch in your calf muscle. All right, good job. There, switch it over. Same thing, good job. Now we're gonna pop it back up to our feet. We're gonna bring the arm across the chest. Bring the opposite arm by the elbow, pull that arm back towards you and you're good. Back across, make sure you're keeping your chest up so you don't take away from the stretch. Beautiful, all right. Now we're coming above the head here so we can get the lats. Good job, then switch it to the other side. Beautiful, good job today guys. Again, you wanna keep these stretching routines before and after your workout. Guaranteed, you're gonna have optimum performance in whatever it is that you're doing and you're gonna see your results happen a lot faster because you're safe away from injury now. You can stay more consistent, all right? So, I'll see you guys soon. Stay strong, stay safe, stay focused.